Hello my dear viewers and listeners, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and in this video I am going to explain about potential energy. As you know that in my previous classes I already explained work, power and energy and this is a part of energy. As you know that there are some forms of energy and in this chapter especially we we'll need to understand the mechanical energy. So those you are studying right now about potential energy and then kinetic energy, you know there are some questions which is very very common and will be coming on your exam paper so we need to understand first the concept and then we need to know that how we can solve this mathematical problems so before going to explain this I need to explain something that that the definition is written here that the ability of a body you must remember one thing that the potential energy is acquired when the positions or the configurations of anything has been changed so it's written simply that the ability of a body to do work when its normal positions or configurations is changed. So this is very important that normal positions. When normal positions or the configurations of a body is changed and then for changing the positions when a body or anything accures some energy, this is called potential energy and these uh, Examples is common in your book. Suppose there is a space and here a spring is tied into two different openings with two different objects in normal positions. So it seems normal. But if if we stretched and make some strain on these, then what will be going on? Suppose it will be stretched and for for changing the normal positions of this spring it will gain some energy how we can find it that it gains some energy because if we give some pressure with this object and then squeezed it into this like changed position then some sort of energy stored in the spring because if I keep here a ball and then I release my hand then it will move here so the spring could have some ability to some work to change the positions of the balls because of when I work on it it stored like a potential energy and these potential energies expressed as EP EP so we can say that potential energy EP so how do we measure uh, the potential energy? So think about a vertical height. Suppose a body, a mass of m kg or m kilogram is placed from the surface h height. Suppose, suppose what's going on here? Suppose a body, a mass of m kilogram, mass of m kilogram is placed at h height from the earth surface from the earth surface so how it will go in there I mean, somebody will give it to the h height and then when this m kilogram of mass is placed here and if we let it down to fall then this amount of energy is ep the potential energy will be stored in this amount of masses so how do we measure we must know that previously work done work done how we could measure work done because we could understood that force times uh, force times the displacement displacement so in this case in this case we can understand that potential potential energy energy is required is required like weight of the body weight of the body times times the vertical height the vertical height so from this law we know that the potential energy is the work done when somebody or, or this amount of this amount of kilogram this amount of kilogram was placed in h height from the earth surface so the weight of the body is mg the weight of the body is mg as we know that weight is the cross product of mass and gravity and it placed into h height 
So we say that the EP, EP is equal to weight is mg times the vertical height is h. So we say that EP equal to mgh. So in this case, if we see closely, the mass, the gravity, and the height in a space. If G is constant in a definite space, if G is constant, so we can say that the potential energy is depending on M times H. It means that the potential energy will increase if M, that means mass of anything will increase. The more mass, more potential energy. More height, more potential energy. So if if a 5 kilogram, suppose the question is like, so we know that the, the principle is EP equal MGH. So we know that if a question like that, if, if a 500 gram, if a 500 gram object is placed one, kilo, one kilometer higher from Earth's surface, what is the potential energy stored in the body? If the question is that, so we know that given M, suppose 500 gram, if the question is 500 gram, 500 gram object has been placed from one kilometer height from the earth's surface, what is the potential energy will be accurate by that object? If the question is that, then 500 gram is 0 0.5 kilo and the height is one kilometer so we know that we need to convert it into meter so it will be 1000 meter and we know that g is 9.8 meter per second square if this is the questions so we can simplify with that potential energy is simply is m g h so we can say that 0 0.5 times 1000 times 9.8 so this would be this would be the results so if I say that M 0 0.5 times thousands times 9.8 is 4900 joule 4900 joule why joule because you know that the unit of energy is joule so that is why the potential energy and the kinetic energy unit would be joule and that is why we can say that unit unit would be joule and the dimension dimension of the work uh, potential energy would be the dimension of work so it is ml square t time inverse 2 so we know that 4900 joule potential energy will be acquired by the mass of 500 gram if it's placed one kilometer higher from the earth's surface or even the questions if this question like that um, that if the question is like um, like uh, how much how much uh, in, in which height in which height in which height uh, in which height uh, 1500 joule joule potential energy potential energy will be acquired will be acquired acquired by 5 kilogram mass of the body so if this is a question then we know that suppose we, we say like 5000 joule so 5000 joule potential energy in which height it will be accurate so we know that the rules is ep equal mgh so the h was asked so we know that h is equal ep by mg so we said that ep is given 5000 joule and then the M is 5 kilogram and G is 9.8 so we can say that this is 1000 by 9.8 so we say 0.8 is uh, 102.0 so almost this is 102 meter so we know that how we can use this 
equations in questions like this is a very normal questions or suppose um, there are some critical questions that is coming on your exam paper and I will definitely solve it for, from the test paper and those who are studying right now in English version you know that the concept of potential energy is very very important so you know that EP uh, equal MGH because of if uh, the G is G is being considered here because this is the vertical height. So in case of vertical height, we definitely consider the acceleration due to gravity. In case of uh, considering weight, because we know that weight is mass times gravity. So E P is equal M G H, and we know the definition that the ability of a body to do work when its normal positions or configuration is changed to other positions or configurations. So this is very important, E P equal M G H. In next class, I shall explain about kinetic energy, that is E K equal half M V square. And we, of course, I will show you that how we can use these equations in the mathematical problem solving technique. So take care, see you on the next class. Stay well, bye.